not to be dramatic or anything, but I feel like I am an entirely different person since the last time we talked. But before we get into that, I used to sit on the floor all the time when I was filming videos, and most of those are private now just because they're like, to put it bluntly, they weren't as good as I would want them to be. <laughs> but I used to sit here all the time or I would lie on the floor and just like talk to the camera. And today feels like that energy. I feel like I need to be on the floor to just like ground into everything that has been happening. Oh, I forgot my notebook. Anyway, yeah, so much has been going on that I ended up writing everything down in a notebook. And by everything, it's just a couple things because I don't want to be talking for like half an hour today. Um, I wrote down the big things. So first of all, um, I got a new job. As you probably know by now, I am a freelance writer and editor. And I just got signed on for a continuing editing contract with a newspaper that I actually used to work for um, about five years ago. And so I am now the managing editor of that for the foreseeable future. And it's been really interesting because like, I was at a, last time I worked there, um, I worked there for two years from when I was 24 to 26, I'm 31 now. And during that time, I was like <laughs> going through it as a person. Um, I was in my undergrad and I was doing an undergrad in psych and I just was not very, I wasn't doing very good at it. Um, I'm very interested in psychology, but I'm not the kind of person who can like memorize an entire textbook and then regurgitate it for a test. So university was going bad, <laughs> personal life was going bad. Um, and then I did some creative writing after, which was way better. But anyway, last time I was working there, I was like, did not feel like a human. And it's so interesting going back there and like even just like being hired like a couple days ago and doing all of like the back end onboarding stuff like already feels so much better <laughs> than the first time around and I'm actually so excited to work there again. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. I have a new job and I'm very, very excited about it. I also, I don't want to jinx it, but I did an editing test for another job. So like they send you like a little Google Doc with like snippets of articles and you kind of just like make sure that everything's in the right place and make sure there's like a meta description and whatnot. And so I did that and I'm waiting to hear back on that as well. Um, honestly, I would love to get it because it's like a really cool publishing company that I've always wanted to work for, but they're always putting out new jobs. So like, I'm not too worried if I don't get it, I can always try again for something else. So yeah, that is thing number one. Thing number two, um, is my library course. And so that's not super new. I've been doing it for a couple weeks now, but I have had a couple people ask me about it. And so I want to talk about that just like a little bit to give you an idea of what I'm doing. And so the course I'm doing is called online searching and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's teaching you how to, um, properly search for things online, specifically in a library database. And while that you're probably like what we online search all the time, uh, it's teaching you the fundamentals of it and so like how to put together search strings of information to find the information that you need um there's like this thing this is so dorky to talk about but there's this thing called boolean operators and it's like putting and or or not in between your search terms to really like narrow it down and make sure that you get like the best possible search result and yeah again i realize that sounds really dorky but it's super interesting to me and because this is a condensed course i'm doing about three months of work in six weeks, I think. So this course is over on like the 20th of June, I'm pretty sure. So if I haven't been talking about it, it's because it's like going so, so fast. Like we have like multiple chapters and videos and things to watch every week. We have an assignment and like a discussion post every week. So it's like, I feel like when I'm doing it, I'm really like in the zone and just trying to get as much done as possible in one go. But yeah, I am really enjoying it. And finally, the third thing, is that I have officially opened two stores. And you're probably like, Catherine, why the heck did you open two stores? So little bit of background. The last four months have felt really chaotic to me. Like I feel like I'm like, oh, I wanna do this, but I wanna do this, but I wanna do this, but I wanna do this. And so I feel like I've been bouncing between things and I realized that the easiest way to like split things up is to open two different stores that are focused on two different things. And that sounds like a lot of work and it's probably going to be, <laughs> but so far um, it's going really well. So the first store is called Blackberry Bookstore 
And so I sell used and vintage books on Etsy. I had my own like books that I knew I wasn't going to read and so I'm posting some of them but I've also been going to thrift stores and looking for like good condition vintage books which has been like so <laughs> so nice like I am a freak for books like that's like not even a surprise to anyone and so being able to like shop for books and like do all of the background stuff to then sell the books is like perfect for me and there's also like book themed merch on there there's not a ton on there but I'm gonna be adding new books every week and I'm hoping to design new merch like once or twice a month I would love to do it more but then I have my second store and my second store is Toad in the Attic which is the one that I already had this store but it's where I had everything and it felt really disorganized and I didn't like it and so now Toad in the Attic is all things witchy all things herbalism and then all things like weird and curious and like strange vintage things and pretty vintage things as well. So Blackberry Bookstore is vintage books and like merch that I've designed and then Toad in the Attic is witchy, weird and wonderful curiosities. And as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I now have a Patreon account. And so patrons, anyone from I think it's like, yeah, it's the second tier upwards. If you go for the second, third or fourth tier, you get discounts on both of my stores. Right now it's just listed as one, but I am gonna add in the second one um, before this video is up, so you'll see. And the discounts get progressively bigger um, as they go up in tiers, obviously. Anyway, yeah, so that's why <laughs> I feel like a completely different person. And it's also why I didn't film last week is I was busy like making sure the stores were good to go and like had everything set up and were just like ready. And so they've got some things in them, but I'll slowly be adding new things to both of them. I have some vintage items for Toad in the Attic I want to add, and I have a whole bunch of books to add to Blackberry Bookstore. So that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. And now um, I want to show you where I'm at with all my herb stuff. Okay, we are going to go for a quick trip into the music room, which we call this. Um, so in here, in my lovely little herb hanger. This is all plantain and it is probably, okay, it's still a bit wet. Um, or not wet, it's still <laughs> not totally dried yet. And so this is all plantain. And then the rest of it, I have some hiding up here. Just this, which looks a bit drier than the other stuff for some reason. And then, oh geez this which is also yeah not totally dry yet we're getting there I think I probably should flip this around and um, let it dry on the other side as well I don't know yet what I'm doing with it but I have it and I'll probably make a herbal oil and like make a salve out of it but I also want to have some to just dry and keep in my cupboard for any time that I need it for whatever I need to research plantain a little bit more to figure out what I'm gonna do with it but I have it and I think I might actually go to my grandparents' house today and pick some more, but it is raining quite a bit, so <laughs> we'll see about that. Finally, let's move this chair out of the way. We have these. These have been marinating for the last couple of months. These two tinctures are actually at the two month point, I think, as of like today. Um, I've just ordered some amber bottles for these so that I can decant them, drain them and decant them into there. Um, and then, and then, hold on. Um, and then after that, the problem is, is that during this time period, I should have been registering the ingredients um, online because in Canada, if you're selling something that is like a health product or whatever, you have to register the ingredients with so I'm governing body, I've completely forgotten what it is. I should have been doing that um, while they were setting, but I've been so busy with other things that I just didn't get around to it. Um, and so <laughs> I will have to do that soon, but I made them with alcohol. Um, I think it was 50 proof alcohol. And so because of that, it doesn't really matter that I didn't do them right away because they will be fine for like seven plus years. So if it takes me an extra month to like make the labels and register the ingredients and whatnot, um, not a huge deal. So that's where we're at. But the oils, April, I forget how long I'm supposed to have these oils in here for. This is a dandelion oil. 
and it's been in since April 21st and it is May 29th right now and so I think this is six weeks I've completely forgotten I'm gonna have to look that up but once this is done I want to make a salve out of it for like um skin irritation burns all that fun stuff and then oh oh I have a lot of dandelion oil oh this one no that's also dandelion why did I make so much dandelion oil um this one has been in here longer and I think this is what I was calling the goddess blend salve I wanted to make or goddess blend oil sorry um what is it it's rosemary rose petals passion flower and calendula I believe oh and cinnamon yeah it must have been the self-love blend I guess so maybe I was gonna make like a body butter out of this oil honestly can't remember I'm gonna have to look at my notes and see but yeah everything is coming along nicely I just like I've been so busy with everything else that I haven't really been thinking about my oils but it is coming up to the point where I can start making things with them and I am super excited about that anyway now I'm trying to decide do I want to go through the clothes I pulled a bunch of clothing out of my closet that I need to try on and decide if I'm keeping and I don't know if I want to do that or oh, I should probably answer emails actually Okay, I'm gonna get the boring stuff over with and then we're gonna do some fun stuff today. cleaned out my closet as you can tell and I need to try these on and see if they still fit or I don't know I think with some of them I can probably just like hold them up and be like do I really want these or not um but mm, there are some that I'm definitely gonna have to try on because I don't think they fit anymore or maybe I just don't think they look good or whatever okay <laughs> this is a big task and I didn't really think this through um but that's okay this is so cute, but I have nowhere to wear it. Um, and it fits like a little bit weird, so I think I'll probably get rid of it. These I know don't fit, which is just tragic because they're so cute, um, but they're a little too small. And so they're going. <laughs> and some of these I've tried on previously and I just know that I'm not gonna be wearing them again. Um, like a lot of the things that I'm just throwing over, I know that I don't need to keep. And then there's some things like this shirt. My aunt gave this to me. This is like actually from the eighties, I'm pretty sure. And I think I just have to cut the bottom off of it to make me want to wear it. There's something about these like long-ish shirts but that fit right around the hips that just like I cannot stand on myself and so there's a lot of these shirts that I'm going to be cutting up as well and this is one of them. And then there's some that I've pulled out that now that I'm looking at them I definitely want to keep them. I don't know why I pulled this out. It's an adorable shirt so this is staying for sure. so sure about I don't know why I don't wear it it's a really cute shirt I just like I think I have so many other shirts that I want to wear more than this one that I just don't uh, but maybe I'll hold on to it for now it is very nice and the fabric is wonderful and super soft okay this is the part that um, is a lot harder the pants are a lot harder for me because a lot of the time I have to try them on um, and make sure that they fit properly I'm less worried about shirts fitting properly I can just do what I do with them but like with pants I have to make sure that they're like actually comfortable to wear or else I know I'm not going to wear them and so what's the point of keeping them I thought when I pulled them out you know what I think I'll do 
is I feel like the pants are gonna wait for another day, but I think I'm gonna cut up the shirts and um, get those into a wearable condition so that at least I can put away everything that I am going to keep and then I can deal with the other stuff after. Partially because today has just turned into like this big thing, like now I'm helping my sister with something and I have a meeting now from two to three. And so I feel like my day, um, my, my fun stuff part of the day is like slowly diminishing and I kind of want to just like do this another time. So we'll have some nice big piles of jeans to go through at a later date. There. Okay, I have tried on all of these shirts. Uh, well, not all of them, some of them. And I have put a little pin where I'm gonna cut at the front and I'm doing it here because I'm old and my knees hurt and I don't wanna sit on the floor <laughs> any more than I already have today. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna cut those. I have a few more that I was thinking I was going to cut, but now I'm not so sure. Um, I'm gonna think on it and see. But I have, what is that? Five here that I'm gonna cut. And this one, I'm gonna cut a little bit longer <clears throat> because I might actually hem this one after. The others I'm not gonna hem, I'm just gonna leave it raw and whatever happens, happens. My way of doing things is a little chaotic if you haven't figured that out yet. Let's get all the grit off the counter. I probably should have washed this before doing this, but oh, alas, again, chaos. straight. Okay, let's, let's fix that. <laughs> okay, I don't have my glasses on, so I actually can't tell if this is like straight or crooked or <laughs> what it looks like. But um, honestly, the way I see things, like when you're making changes to like almost anything, um, it's very hard to make it worse than it was if you didn't like the thing before. And so the way I see it is if it's a little crooked or if I didn't cut it like perfectly, it's better than it was before and I like it better than I did before. So I will have to look in a mirror afterwards and see what this looks like. Okay, shirt number two. I cut it along the stripe, so I'm hoping that I cut it straight, um, at least somewhat. This already, already I like it better than it was. I don't know what it is about shirts that go down past my waist. They just feel so weird to me. Um, I have no idea why, but like I want the shirts to hit like right at my high-waisted jeans. Like then I'm the most comfortable. So already, already I like this better. Okay, this too, this is already so much better. Oh, I'm so happy that I started um, cutting the bottoms off my shirts. I have, <laughs> I have so many like long sleeve shirts and short sleeve shirts and tank tops where I've just cut the bottom off because like a lot of the time I'm thrifting. Actually, I buy all of my clothing from thrift stores now. So it's all like varying time periods. And then some of the stuff is things I've had since I was like a teenager as well. And fashion back then was very <laughs> different than it is now. Like I'm sure you've seen the memes of like early 2000s fashion. I was seven in 2000, but like, the thing back then was, was really long, tight shirts and like lots of layering. So tank tops would come down to like here and you'd have like several of them on and it's just, it's not a vibe anymore. I'm not sure it was a vibe then either, but <laughs> this is, according to me, much better. I really, really like this, how it is um, versus how it was before. So I'm saying this not being able to actually see in the viewfinder what I look like. So <laughs> I'll, I'll look in the mirror after. And this, this too, so much better. It's like, it's kind of like when you have really long hair and you get a haircut and it feels so much lighter and so much looser and just so much better. And that is what these shirts feel like now. I feel like I can actually breathe in them. Like they were like choking my hips. Weirdest thing I've said online, do not quote that. Um, pretend I didn't say it actually. Anyway, yeah, I'm much happier with this now. Oh, this is probably the cutest out of the bunch. I actually, this one didn't have stripes, so it was harder to tell if I was cutting it um, <laughs> straight or not. And like I said, I did do it a little bit longer than I would want generally for a shirt, but I think, well, I don't know now that I'm looking at it. I was thinking I might hem this one, um, but honestly, hemming, if you're a sewer, you know that like sewing with stretchy fabric is like the biggest pain in the butt ever. And so now I'm like, 
I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it like this. I might even cut off like an extra inch or something, but um, you know, <laughs> who knows? We'll figure it out later. But yeah, I'm, I'm so much happier with these shirts. And I have three more just like sitting on the counter behind you right now that I'm not sure if I'll cut them up. I, I also like to take shirts and like tie them at the front. So like, I don't want to cut up all my shirts. I think those three that I've left might just be like shirts that I tie up instead. Um, but we'll see, I might change my mind on that as I change my mind with everything. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I'm like literally speechless right now. Um, you know how this morning I was saying I'm really busy and I'm doing a lot, but it's all good things. Um, I just opened up my email account and I got offered a job that I had applied for, a writing and editing job, or mostly editing actually. And I really didn't think I was gonna get it, but they want me to do 20 to 40 hours a week starting out and so, <laughs> I'm already probably doing about 30, 35 hours a week. Um, so now I have to figure out how to streamline everything, um, what's going to be staying and what has to go. Um, but the fact that I got hired for this job is just so, so, so exciting. Um, I did not expect it whatsoever and I'm feeling like so, so good about it. Um, I haven't replied yet. I just like opened the email and had like a a panic attack, but like in the best possible way. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. I had been doing some homework. I'd been helping my sister with some things um, online. And so <laughs> now I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm having a hard time focusing. Um, I do have a meeting like in two hours, but I think I'm gonna try and get a blog post done in between now and then if I can focus enough and like stop doing little happy dances. But anyway, um, since I was filming a day in my life, I wanted to hop on and tell you that very, very exciting news. Oh, I'm so happy. 